Hello Apostles and welcome to A3 Update Dispatch. I am your host Kim and today we will be going over the new content from our very first update. Let's begin. First of all, the character combat power limit has been greatly increased. The character level, the apostle level, the equipment enhancement level, and the maximum skill level have all gone up. Let's take a look at them one by one. First, your character level has finally expanded from level 100 to 120. This is an opportunity for Apostles to experience A3 Still Alive's main story once again and increase their level and combat power. Just as the maximum level has been increased, the Apostle level has also gone up from level 30 to 40. On top of that, the maximum enhancement limit for equipment has increased from level 30 to level 35. Level 110 and 120 equipment have been added. Level 120 equipment isn't the only thing you have to look forward to though. I recommend you try the level 110 gear as you can experience an unexpected boost in combat power. So, if the main story gets expanded and there is an upgrade in equipment, a new area has to open, right? Yes, the sixth new region, Medium, has been opened and in it you can find a lot of new stories you did not encounter in areas 1 to 5. That said, I encourage you to start exploring. As all of you know, we can find equipment dungeons in each region. The equipment dungeon in Medium is Ivan's Conquest. Rumor has it you can farm on a boat in this area. That would be really fun. Of course we have awesome soul linkers in A3, but we don't have actual pets right? Well, that changes in this new update as it looks like Shu has appeared to stick around you 24-7. Shu is a new friend you can take with you and who will grant you a dramatic increase in combat power. Place a bird on your shoulder and have fun exploring the new area. Good news to apostles who want to farm better equipment. I know you must have been farming in the refuge of the dead, probably amidst the constant threat of enemies. Well, the second floor of the Refuge of the Dead is now open, where you can farm better equipment. The rewards are good, but I can't promise there won't be at least a little bit of blood spattering between you apostles here. Next up, a new guild mode, Resource Battle, has been added. Resource Battle is guild-specific content, where you can win by collecting the most resources against enemy guilds. It sounds simple, but there are many interesting details that will all most likely result in a tumultuous fight. As in Conquest, we expect battles to take on increased strategy and need greater power. I can't wait to see what you all do between each other's guilds. Don't miss the awesome rewards such as Blue Diamond, Guild Experience, Fame, and Gold. Now finally, there is good news for the apostles who enjoy adventuring on their own instead of grinding up through the levels. The hell difficulty of the Shyland Mine is now open. Like what you might expect of a difficulty called hell, the bosses are much stronger. And while you may have difficulty getting through, I believe in you. Here's a tip to start with though. Remember to cautiously track the boss's attack pattern and step back when it attempts to do a stun attack. As you know well, Shyland Mine is a time attack mode that gives you better rewards the sooner you complete it, so your control is as important as your combat power. It's only the first update and we have seen so many tweaks and improvements. I wish I could go over all of them, but that's for you to discover, and that's part of the fun. That's it for now, but I'll see you guys soon. Thank you, and until then. Oh, and please don't forget to like and subscribe to get fast access to A3's updates.